Hi, I am Hudson Meeks and I am a developer in the customer engineering team at BMC Software. This how-to video is part two in a video series covering analysis of event filtering criteria for patrol event propagation in the BMC Proactive Net Performance Management version 9.0 environment. This video series assumes you have already viewed the three-part video series named BPPM, Patrol, Event Propagation, and Management. In part one of this video series, we discussed the BBPM components involved, including the patrol console. We also mentioned that if you are already using the event management KM, we can leverage its rules and reduce the overall configuration for upgrading to the BBPM 9.0 architecture because the architecture can leverage your existing configuration of the event management KM. This video is focused on how to determine the filter criteria to include all events from the event management KM. In part one of this video series we also described the analysis process listed here. The key step in the analysis is to leverage the patrol console to determine the proper patrol event catalog and patrol event class for the events you are working with. By analyzing test events from the event management KM in the patrol console, we will determine the proper patrol event catalog and patrol event class to define in the inclusion filter rule so that we send up all events from the event management KM. Let's see how this is done in the product. Here we see the BPPM operational console and notice there are no events in this event management cell that we have selected through the console except for these two events that are related to the cell itself. There's a heartbeat event for the cell here and this event at the top is a database cleanup event related to the cell management process itself. Basic configuration including connectivity has already been configured between the event management cell and the managed nodes. Rules to filter out all events from the patrol standard event catalog have also been applied to the agents. If you have not viewed the how-to video series named BPPM Patrol Event Propagation and Management, please do. Now the first thing we want to do is go configure the event management KM through the patrol console. So we take a look at the patrol console here, you'll see this node at the top that is designated as my test node. If I right click on the node name, go down to KM commands, choose event management, we see the options that allow us to configure the event management KM. Notice under quick config we could come in here and configure it as a notification server or a remote agent. That's unnecessary. All we want to do is go under alert settings and configure or turn on the ability to generate notification events. If I choose alert actions, that's where we go to do this. And if I choose classes here, which is what I want to do for a test, I'm just going to scroll down and pick NT services as my test example. We'll accept that. I'll go ahead and turn on trigger notify event, which is fundamentally what we want to do. I want to make that applicable to the current session as well, so I'll check that checkbox. And I'll go ahead and turn on allow recovery actions, which is not really necessary, but I like to do that anyway as a pr best practice. Now that's been applied to the agent. The next step is for us to go generate an event by shutting down a service and analyze the associated event in order to determine what context we need to pull out of the event to use to build our filter rule. So let's go ahead and shut down a service. On the Manage node here, you can see that I've already selected the Windows Update service. That's the one I want to test with, so I'll just stop it. Now let's go back to the Patrol GUI. As you can see in the Patrol GUI, we now have an alarm. If I go ahead and drill down into the Windows Operating System, we can see that it's related to services, and as expected, it is the Windows Update service that is an alarm. 
Now, if we scroll back up to the top and right click on the Manage node and choose Event Manager, we will be able to visualize all of the events that have occurred within the context of the patrol agent itself. So we're looking at events held within the patrol agent at this point. As you can see, there are many, many messages here, most of which we would not want to propagate up to an event management cell, and that's the reason we've turned on the global filtering to turn off the propagation of all of those events. What we care about and what we're looking for here are these notify events. These are the events that are associated with the event management KM. And in fact, the alarm that we're currently seeing right now is associated with this NT services application class or origin as you see in this field. If I double click on that event, you'll see that this is the specific event we care about. And you'll also notice that the event catalog that this event lives in is within the AS underscore event spring catalog. That is the event catalog that is associated with the event management KM. And then also notice that the event class is specifically notify underscore event. It is these two pieces of information that we need to go and add to a rule that we will apply to the agent so that these events are propagated up to the BBPM server or visualized within the BBPM server's access to the event management cell. If we go take a look at that real quickly before making any changes and refresh the view for events here, you will see that there are actually no other events coming in. So the configuration change that I made at the agent for the event management KM has not really taken effect as far as propagating events up. We just generated the event as a notify event, analyzed it, understood what the patrol event class is and what the patrol event catalog is that we need to create within a rule in PCM that we can now push out to the patrol agent so that those events will be propagated up. So let's go ahead and do that. If we take a look at PCM here, you will see that I already have a rule created. And if I right click on that rule and choose to edit it, we can take a look at it in a little bit more detail here and you can see that within the rule variable I have AS underscore event spring shown here and then notify underscore event shown right there. So we're basically saying the catalog we care about is AS underscore event spring and the type which actually corresponds to the patrol event class within the patrol agent is the notify underscore event string that you see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK there and let's apply this particular rule to the agent. I'll go ahead and drag it over here to the agent, click apply. We'll go ahead and back that up as well and now it's applied to the agent. So now if we go ahead and go back to our manage node and go ahead and restart the service and then stop the service, we will generate a new event that will get propagated up. Now that that's stopped, let's go take a look at the BBPM console so that we can see what the event looks like. In the BPPM console, we can now see the event that was generated when we restarted the service and then the event that was generated when the service was stopped. And notice the event message has the context notify event at the very beginning of it. Also notice that the object associated with the event is accurate and the host name that it came from is accurate as well. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching the video and thank you for using BMC products.